placental formation in the mother is influenced by paternal genes from the sperm. So like the actual structure that will hold your baby. Yes. And then long term, paternal nutrition and health directly influences children's developmental health. So things like risk of autism, ADHD, schizoaffective disorders, which is a very clear, distinct effect from paternal health. Amazing, right? This is beyond genetics. There are, of course, genetic predispositions for this, but actually paternal nutritional status and metabolic health, blood pressure, BMI, um, waist circumference, directly influence the risk of neurodevelopmental conditions. Maternal health, preconception, really impacts how likely the pregnancy is to make it past the 12 week mark, directly impacts the health of the pregnancy, and then during pregnancy, maternal health uh, and diet directly impacts both offspring and mother's health. So I wrote a review years ago looking at how diet impacts maternal and child health during pregnancy. Even though there's so much that goes into preconception care, right, which is a topic that's really undiscussed, but yeah. we should do more on. During pregnancy, if you change your diet during pregnancy and improve it, you still have really good outcomes for both mother and baby. We call this window in nutrition science and in sort of health research, we call it the golden window of opportunity or the first 1,000 days. Because in this time frame, from conception to second birthday, you can impact not only child health, but maternal health too, and improve health outcomes for both. 